Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. Today we're going to be doing something that we haven't done in a while, maybe. It is a new flavor of Samyang Bulldog, and today's new flavor is Yakisoba. Now, Yakisoba is kind of a flavor, but it's more of a preparation style. Uh, yakisoba is like a stir-fried noodle dish. Um, it's tossed in a sauce and topped with some mayo, typically as a topping. So, Boldock, the hot chicken ramen, has made its own yakisoba variety, and I'll be trying that today. Uh, a little bit different of a preparation than normal. Uh, this one has uh, a very different sauce, in my opinion. The yakisoba sauce, uh, which in my opinion, kind of like more black than red. Uh, you can see the noodles have a very dark color to them. It's also more liquidy than uh, a typical bulldog sauce was. And I also feel like little like bits inside of the sauce. And according to the uh, ingredients, it's Worcester sauce, uh, MSG, Water, oyster sauce, soybean oil, onion, sugar, chili pepper powder, paprika, chicken flavor, apple juice concentrate, um, thickener, curry powder, ginger powder, black pepper powder. So I'm wondering if like the bits in here are like onion bits I'm feeling. There's also this flake. This is flake that's just dried cabbage. And you top it off with this Bulldog mayo sauce. And what's interesting about this Bulldog mayo sauce is I've actually purchased in the past the bottle of Bulldog mayo sauce you can get. And it looks more creamy than this. This actually more, looks more like a gel almost than a mayo. Uh, but the ingredients sound like a mayo uh, would be made from them. Um, before I go ahead and start, I'm going to drink something. If it's too spicy, we'll give you hiccups. And today's drink is going to be a little mini review. This is Sprite Lemonade Legacy. Uh, Limonade, sorry. And uh, it's supposed to be a celebration of 50 years of hip-hop. Lemon, lime, strawberry, and lemonade. I've, I've tried the Sprite Limonade before. Uh, but the Limonade Legacy adds a strawberry flavor to the mix. Open it up. It does have a strawberry and lemonade smell. It has a strawberry lemonade flavor. It's like a strawberry lemonade soda. decently good. I don't know what this flavor has to do uh, with hip-hop. I don't remember a hip-hop song in the last 50 years about strawberry lemonade. I could be wrong. Well, you tell me. Let's go ahead and try this Bulldog Yakisoba. All I have in here is what came in the bag. I do have some ingredients I'm going to add to it after I give it an initial taste test, though. Here we go. We got some mayo on there and noodles with the yakisoba sauce. Let's give it a taste. It's savory, spicy. The sauce definitely is a little thinner than a regular Bulldog sauce would be. Uh, but the flavors are there. It still has the chickeny flavor. It still has that spice. The mayo, they really don't give you a whole lot of mayo, so it's not something that like jumps out in flavor uh, when you taste it. The noodles, I would say, are a little bit thinner in gauge than 
what I'm used to for a bulldog. I'm not sure that like yakisoba noodles are typically um, a thinner gauge, but I'm gonna go ahead and add some stuff to it. Uh, this is stuff that um, leftover from takeout I had yesterday. I have some uh, fried calamari rings that I'm gonna add to there. I have three of those. I have one more fried shrimp. I've already taken the tail off that already. And this was like a, a Cajun seafood place. You know, you get like seafood in a bag. And one of the additions you can get in the seafood bag was, right over here, let us poke it, a hard boiled egg. I'll put that in there. The yakisoba is typically if you put an egg in there is fried egg, but I'm going to add it. And then I have a bunch of spicy uh, vegetables, mostly green beans, but also some cauliflower. There's a dump rust in there. There is a little bitty piece of uh, crawfish claw in there that I'm going to try to not put in my bowl. Add a little bit of that sauce that's in there. This is um, hot, you know, like a mild hot, very hot, and ridiculously hot level. This is number two hot. It's still pretty hot. Uh, but this had some crawfish in it, and it had some uh, it had a lobster tail in it. Oh, I might get some seafoody flavors from that. Here we go. Now I have my bowl all made up. Mix that sauce in there a little bit. Grab a little bit of uh, the green bean with my noodle. Maybe a calamari ring. Of course, my phone will start going off now. The hard boiled egg is fully hard boiled, um, so it's not like a ramen egg of any kind. I'll break it open so you can see. It's not like overly cooked, there's not like that green ring of overly cooked, but it is fully cooked. The yolk is still fluffy, if not uh, an old-fashioned mouse ball. Overall, I like the flavor. It's a good, it's a good base. I would say, out of all the bulldogs I've had. It's the one that really is almost needing something else to it. The picture shows this mayo, but that's not the mayo you get, and you don't get that much even. Uh, I would say you probably need to add more mayo than it has in here. You need to add something else to this because it's kind of one note. Other things have like a curry flavor or a cheese flavor or a specific like bean flavor. Um, this is the, probably the most basic uh, flavor uh, wise. I'm not saying it's bad or it's bland. It's definitely got spice. It's definitely got an umami flavor. Um, it's definitely uh, out of focus on my camera right now because I went too close to it and then went far away. I don't know if it's going to fix itself eventually before this video is over. I do really like this variety. I have more packs that I'm going to try different toppings with. But I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Another Bulldog flavor in the bag. I have one more, 
I don't have it in my possession, but it is on its way from South Korea. Uh, it is a jalapeno and cream flavor. Looking forward to that one. Um, and whenever that comes, I'll do a review for it. Hopefully you'll be here to watch it. Hopefully my camera will... There we go. Focus back where it's supposed to be. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know if you've tried this legacy strawberry hip hop flavor of a Sprite. And I'll see you on the next one, whenever that may be. Bye for now.